Boom. Let me ask you a question then. Mm-hmm. So how you feel about trap music and T.I.? You think he really, I mean, I know he did really birth trap, but between him and Gucci, who do you think was the most influential on trap? When it comes to trap, oh, that is a great fucking question. Before I answer that, let me shout out to one of the godfathers of trap beats, Lex Luger. Um, mm, if, yeah. if, if y'all didn't tune into his episode, make sure that y'all <laughs> did. <laughs> shout out to him. Shout out to Lex Luger, man. A great episode. Seriously, tap in um, to my YouTube and just check that one out. But between T.I. and Gucci, who's the true OG of trap music? Mm -hmm. Technically, T.I. Yeah. Techn I would say T.I. too. Yeah, technically T.I. But I think Gucci took it to another level because you have to consider the amount of mixtapes just about to say that yeah that gucci put out that yeah. was all trap music and you also have to consider the amount of trap artists that came after gucci mm -hmm. without wap pb longway young thug maybe migos correct me if i'm wrong um dolph first time i heard those dudes was off of gucci mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying rich homie um I'm, future yeah uh, free man gave them what with them but the first time i heard future even big I'm mad you didn't grab a fucking Mike Jonesy. Uh, astronaut music and all that came out. I heard well, he probably sounded yeah. hella different. Yeah, different. yeah. So first time we had all these trap artists that came out of Atlanta, and Atlanta really took the trap scene with full fucking force. All came from Gucci. So technically, Ti was the first to do it. I think Jeezy was the hardest to do it, yeah. but I think Gucci was the most consistent and the most bossed up to do it. Yeah. What's your answer? I'll say T.I., but like I see what you're saying even with Gucci. See, Gucci, like even at home, I know a lot of people that fuck with Gucci, but Gucci to me was never really like mainstream until he did like yeah. Lemonade. Yeah. So it was like, it was that mixtape era mm -hmm. that everybody fuck with, everybody was fucking with him was mm -hmm. fucking with what he was doing on that. Now I'm a mainstream girl. Okay. So even when they did the verses, when it was mm -hmm. Gucci yeah, and yeah, Jeezy, yeah. I was Jeezy all day. Cause I'm, I'm just mainstream. Like I, he got the radio shit on lock versus yeah. Gucci. So do you, you think Jeezy won that? Yeah, to I me, do yeah. too. I think, if, all day I think if you're making sense, Jeezy won the verses, but people, you know, were riding Gucci's coattail and said Guwap just because it was Guwap. Just because mm -hmm. Guwap smoked a dude that Jeezy knew. Yeah. Just because of the whole situation and the politics, people wanted to ride with Gucci. I cool, cool, I get it. But if you talking about who won that versus, you're it's tripping Jeezy, if you man. don't say Jeezy won that fucking thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and it's crazy because you said how, you know, even back home we listen to Gucci. So I went to uh college in New York for like two years. And when I was out there, this is 2014, my first year of college and whatnot, 2014, 2015. And um, it was a junior college. JUCOs have people from all over, Alabama, mm. Texas, Florida, New York. But since we were in New York, it was vast majority in New York and no, in New Jersey dudes up there. And when I would tell them like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm listening to the Guwap. They'd be like, Guwap. They'd be like, Gucci. They'd be like, you listen to Gucci, man? What? I'm like, yeah. They'd be like, this nigga listen to Gucci. It was like that? Yes. This wow, is this that's is 20, 2014 or whatnot. Yeah, like it was like Damn. Nick. Like, but then luckily I had my Alabama teammates that backed me up. They was like, <laughs> nah, y'all niggas tripping. Mm. But that's because they didn't know about mixtape WAP. They only knew, like you said, Lemonade. Lemonade might have been the only song by Gucci that they knew, right? They didn't know the mixtapes and whatnot. They didn't know any of that other stuff. But yeah, like when I went up north, like they like looked at me crazy. But as time went on. It changed up a little bit because, like mm -hmm. I said, without Gucci, wouldn't it be Young Thug. I remember the first time I played Young Thug to a few of my homies from back up north. It was uh, Rolling with him and Pee Wee Longway, and then the intro to the Lean mixtape by Gucci. And um, when Thug snapped on that shit, and then years later, like, yo, that's crazy how you two told us about Thug and all that shit. But yeah, like, like Southern artists and Gucci, he didn't, he went, he was successful with going from just that mixtape era to everything beyond. Right. 